Great starts lead to great finishes, and great finishes can lead to more great starts. Follow these tips and techniques to start strong, finish strong, and keep your project running smoothly. A paper-faced metal corner bead provides durable protection for outside angle corners, uncased openings like windows, beams, and soffits. It's made with a strong paper tape laminated to a sturdy rust-resistant metal form that makes perfectly straight corners. The paper tape covering ensures superior adhesion of joint compounds, textures, and paints for an enduring smooth finish. The exposed nose of the bead resists impact and forms a screed for finishing. The first step to installing a paper-faced metal corner bead is to measure the wall height to be covered by the bead. Then cut the bead half an inch shorter than the wall height using metal snips. Next, use a 4-inch finishing knife and apply drywall compound to the drywall surface, extending just beyond where the edge of the corner bead will be by approximately 2 inches. Now, press the paper-faced metal corner bead onto the corner and into place, making sure the top of the bead is aligned tightly with the ceiling. Embed the bead by running your finishing knife over it at a 45-degree angle. This will press out any excess compound and eliminate bubbles. Another way you can do this is by using a corner roller. If you're installing a corner bead on a long bulkhead, you want to ensure you're running the bead in a straight line. Do this by pressing the bead to the drywall and checking the alignment by running a 6-inch knife across the bead to ensure it forms a perfectly straight edge. Once you're done applying the corner bead, allow it to thoroughly dry. When the paper-faced metal corner bead is dried and is firmly in place, it's time to apply the first coat of drywall compound. Use a 4-inch finishing knife to apply the compound, making sure that the finishing knife overhands the corner bead's edge by approximately 1 8 of an inch, so the corner bead fills in properly. When you're done, allow the compound to dry thoroughly and then sand lightly to remove any high spots. To apply the second coat of drywall compound to the paper-faced metal corner bead, use a 6-inch finishing knife. Once again, make sure that the finishing knife overhangs the corner bead's edge so the corner bead fills in properly. Keep this coat as smooth as possible, feathering out the compound approximately 1 inch beyond the edge of the first pass of compound. Once again, allow the compound to dry thoroughly and then sand lightly to remove any high spots. For applying the third coat of drywall compound to the paper-faced metal corner bead, use an 8-inch finishing knife. As before, make sure the finishing knife overhangs the corner bead's edge to ensure the bead fills in properly. Feather out this coat approximately 2 inches past the edge of the previous coat. Then, allow the compound to dry and, when it has, sand lightly. The corner is now ready for priming and painting.